Hello everyone, it's Thomas Jujube, and welcome back to, I guess, another Thomas Juju Saber unboxing video. Is that what I'm calling these now? Uh, I'm gonna unbox more Saber toys because, yes. yes. If you want to check out the last two times I unboxed Saber toys, uh, that's gonna be here. As usual, I got my box from Angel J, Hobby Lane Japan. If you want your own Kamen Rider Saber merch, I've got uh, a bunch of uh, stores here on the side, all linked in the description for new Kamen Rider Saber stuff or older Kamen Rider stuff as well. And if you want to see full reviews of the stuff I'm taking a look at, that will also be linked in the description because I'm not going to look at everything in this box. Let's stop talking. Let's open the toys. That's, that's what you're here for, right? That's what I'm here for. As usual, you probably won't be able to see everything in it. So I will I'll take a picture <laughs> with my phone so that you can see everything. I, I bought my first Ultraman toy. I wanted to put a little something extra in the box since it's... <laughs> These are tiny. I didn't think he'd be so tiny, but it's just my little orb origin. I guess I can put this on my desk now. Okay, so the first thing is the Logos buckle and the Kobuta-san Kyodai book. Where's my knife? Okay, that took me <laughs> way longer to put together than it should have because I'm I'm incredibly stupid. This thing is fine. It's just that like for the most part, it's just these, which I already have. This is just a repaint. Um, cause this front buckle doesn't do anything. Like I don't expect it to make sounds or anything, but I think it would have been kind of interesting to give it like the re soldier functionality, have it like open and you could put a book inside or you could just put a book in the top and whatever. It's just like a plastic piece that doesn't really do anything. You could have stored a book in here and I think it would have made it a little more worth it. Yeah, I mean, it's just a big convoluted way to get the, the piggy book. Piggies. This sink is bigger than I thought it would be. I, I thought it would be a little smaller, um, but big Arthur's Zord, I guess. I was I was gonna call it a Zord, I guess that's what it is. Not even a Sentai Mecha, I'm gonna call it a Meg Zord. This is my friend. His name is, I guess his name is Arthur, isn't it? I can't really give him another name. I was gonna say some negative things, but I, I love him. I guess here's a King of Arthur with a with the, um, the Dino Charge, this Megazord formation combination. Let's put him in sword mode. Uh, how do I do that? I don't. I don't need the instructions. I can do it. Trust me. Um, I did it. <laughs> So here's my main complaint with this thing out of the way. Why? That's my main complaint, like, to be completely honest, that it has this weird slot here to push a sound here, but I, it doesn't trigger anything here. I would have preferred if, like, you push this button and it maybe, like, unlocks, uh, like, you know it has to, like, do this. It's like, shift. I wouldn't have minded if, like, that shift, oops, came from this button, or if this button triggered some more sounds here, like an either an attack or just, like, the transformation sound, uh, but the, the transform sound is beautiful, so let's actually push the buttons on purpose. This is how I think it should be without me pushing this button.
Okay, I'm gonna try to transform it before the transformation sound ends. Let's see if I can if I can do that because I only transformed it once. No. There you go. I did it, kind of. It's in robot mode. So this one I've, been, I've actually been very excited for. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should. If you have Twitter, um, somewhere on the screen now, uh, at ThomasGGB. When this was first leaked, um, I was... No, I'm shaking my head. I was... <laughs> I was wait, hold on. I was... No, 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 no. Not, not a fan. I'm not sure what happened. It might have been, like, just getting used to it, kind of growing to accept it. Maybe the sounds, maybe... The functionality, something. Um, I really like this. <laughs> I will say, um, to make one complaint, I don't think he should have been called Slash. He's a, is a sword. I mean, he has a gun. Why did we call the one rider with a gun Slash? Pew 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 pew. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> Oh, hello? I just want to make sure that button's not broken. Okay, it's not. Um, one thing I do know I love about this sword, even though I'm playing it right now for the first- playing with it right now for the first time, it has two transformations? That's fantastic! So let's do both. I love the standby. <laughs> Oh, the trigger's hard to pull, like, on the Gekido. You know? holds it upside down a lot, right? Let's see if I can... No. There is... Oh! It worked! Okay. <laughs> yay! It says yay! Yay, yay! Let's do the... The far superior gun mode transformation. <laughs> yeah, I love this. He's yeah, he's my favorite. So next is Big Boy. <laughs> um the caliber driver. I have a lot to say about this thing. Um but this box, can we just This stuff like this is why you keep toku boxes, right? Like this is this is hot, all right? And the Jao form, oh, wrong side. This is also very hot. This is a box to fit the the sexiness of Jao Dragon. Oh shoot! <laughs> Just a little baby compartment for the Jao book. This is my first bundle purchase ever. I think. I'm trying to think for Saber definitely, but yeah, I've never bought a, a Toku bundle before, so that's very cool. Look at this. This is a big boy. Remember when people were complaining the, about how small the Wonder Ride books were and now we have these monstrosities. This 
This is your fault. You know who I'm talking about, which is literally everyone. This is a lot of stuff. Yes. My complaint, basically, is that this didn't really need to be a driver. The buckle feels like an add-on. To where they're like, if we make it a buckle, we can call it a driver and we can charge more for it. Um, which is kind of annoying. But then the the sword looks very cool. Um, now that I have it, I really like this thing. <laughs> but it, it has a reader and it doesn't do anything with the reader. It gives all the books a new name. But they don't get a unique transformation except for the two. I think you could have give you could have done something more with... Uh, with the reader uh like i didn't need them all to have a unique transformation like this it's it, it's basically it costs the same as the sword driver and the sword driver has at least three unique uh jingles with a set of three books but here you only get a unique jingle with uh jaku and jaho um i think you could have done something like wonder read and then it says the name or something i i don't know i haven't even done the transformation yet <laughs> okay, that's that is pretty cool. <laughs> it's getting very, very dark here, so I'm gonna turn on a light. I mean, my main, my main problem is that it says Jaku Dragon in the generic Henshin sound. If it just said, like, Jaku Wonder Book or Jaku Book, Jaku Monogatari, whatever. Like, like I guess if you, you split it off into the three sections, like, this is Jaku Densetsu, the other one's, I don't know, Japanese. Like, a storybook would be Jaku Monogatari, I know that much. Because it is just, it's kind of annoying they all do the same transformation, because it... It reads everything differently, too. It's like if you gave everything a, a different reading, why didn't you do anything with that? Because it's kind of hard if you're not worried about... <laughs> I, I love you. Again, I take back everything bad I've said about the caliber driver. Uh, this is very hot. <laughs> I love the pop-up. Uh, oh no, it's like off-center. And now the lightning boy's dead. I'm gonna do that again. One last thing in this box. It's the, the Dragonic book. 
I wanted to fit the King Line book, but like, I guess it sent this box like to to be a little too expensive for my taste right now. So, uh, I canceled my order for the King Line book so I could just wait for uh, a good shipping time. So I have no idea when that's coming, uh, or when the next unboxing is. Uh. In comparison to Jao, this is kind of tiny. <laughs> the size uh, the, it, it it pops out with a force. I was not expecting that, and it's kind of wiggly. That is, <laughs> I, I like that sound. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the unboxing, I'm gonna keep doing these, but be sure to let me know below. And also just subscribe if you wanna see more of those. That's about it. So I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.